Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain how to read properties of an entity using Visualist ActiveX methods. That is VLAX get property. Using that method, how to retrieve the properties of selected object. Let's go to Visualist PyDE and the function which we are going to see is VLAX get property. This is the function. So first of all, we need to get the entity name. So I am writing like this, set Q E1 CAR of end cell. We know how to use this end cell, select a entity. So just loading this statement so that we can select a entity and retrieve its name into E1 variable. So load this and select the line. Now we have got E1, the entity name. To use ActiveX methods in Autolisp, we need to provide VLA object as argument. So first let us convert this ordinary entity name into VLA object. So we have a method, I will show you that one, say our obj1 is variable name. The method is vlax ename VLA object. So this is the method which will convert an ordinary entity name into VLA object. Here I am giving E1 so that it will be converted as VLA object and will be stored into object 1. So let us load this statement also. So we have got VLA object name. Now using this VLAX get property method, I would like to get different properties of that object. So the syntax is simply VLAX get property, VLA object and property. What is the property? We need to get that. So let me enter these arguments. So I am giving here entity name as obj1 and the property name is say color. But before to color we need to give a single code so that saying it is a property. So I want to retrieve color property of this object using VLAX get property. So let us load this statement. So we have got one which means red color. Similarly let us try to get the line type. So I am copying the same statement and changing say line type and select this statement and click load selection. See we have got dashed line type the entity which we have selected has and similarly I am also trying to get the layer name. So select this statement and click load. See test layer is the layer in which this line is in. Let us see whether are they are correct or not. So this is in test layer and its color is red and its line type is dashed. So like that we can read different properties of entities using VLAX get property method. So you may be having a doubt that what are the different properties that we can read from an object. Very nice doubt. Let us see how to know the different properties that we can read from an object. For that we have another function called VLAX dump object. So this function will return all the properties and methods that we can read from an object. For this the argument is the VLA object only. So I am passing object 1. So if you load this statement, it will show you all different properties that you can read from this object. Say you can read the angle of object, we can read its handle layer and uh, length of the line, line type, line type scale. These are all the different properties that we can read from this object. And if you also want to know the different methods we can apply on this. So if you put a true over here and load the same statement, you also can get different methods that you can apply on this method. That is method supported is added to the properties. Say you can array the object and you can copy, delete, get the bounding box. There are different methods are there you can apply those methods on this particular VLA object. So VLAX dump object will return you all the properties and methods that you can read from that object and the methods you can apply on that object. Similarly, VLAX get property will return the supplied property of the given VLA object. So using VLAX get property ActiveX method, we can read different properties those are available in VLAX dump object and we can make it easy to read the different properties instead of going to end get and 
retrieve the properties using different DXF group codes, it is much much easier to directly read the properties of objects using VLAX get property. If you want to know what are the available properties of this supplied object, you can simply call VLAX dump object and pass the VLA object so that all the properties available will be displayed on the console window. Friends, hope you understood how to read the available properties of given object and what are the current values of different properties in the given VLA object. Friends, hope you understood how to read different properties of objects using VLAX get property and what are the different available properties of an entity using VLAX dump object method. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.